Hello, good morning, good evening, everyone. Welcome to today's session. We are going to discuss about Microsoft Power Platform Administration Basics. Let's get started. I am in the browser. Let's go to the Power Platform Admin. The URL for that is admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com. Here on the left hand side, you can see the menu items, the navigation menu items. On the right hand side, you can see the details. Let's start with Home. Home contains service health looks like there are zero incidents message center there are around 30 300 messages documentation advisors are there any security related things on the top you can see try the new admin center we will discuss as a part of uh, this video how this new administration center looks like and what what are being changed and this gear box is the settings here you can see session details you can change the password and other things and your username and if you need any help let's get started with the environments there are broadly different environments you can see the types of the environments are classified by default what is developer environment production environment and sandbox environment these are the different environments that are currently used in this power platform admin center we can group these environments also. So here you can see Sys360 Sandbox, Sys360 and Sys360, right? In the environment group, I grouped all these Sys360 related things into this. Here you can see this is assigned or contains, this group contains three environments, right? We saw those three environments. And advisor is from Microsoft, are there any recommendations? Looks like security agents by setting the information. We can click on this and see more details about this one. DLP stands for data based related data loss prevention policies. DLP stands for so uh, secure reagents by setting up the data loss prevention policies. What it is saying is in this environment, I have some of the co pilots or co pilot agents. Microsoft is suggesting me to use DLP policies, set up these DLP policies. And here you can see the action history. What are the different actions? Right now, I'm not going to take care of this. Uh, you know, this is at the tenant level. Let's uh, go back to the security menu item. Here you can see network security, firewalls. We can, uh, you know, set up IP firewall, set uh, information. We can configure it access control list is a way for the tenant we can configure this information so here we can restrict the cross tenant tenant connections and threat detection these are on when you see a preview next to any of the menu items or any of the items that means microsoft is uh, testing it with uh, some set of developers once uh, they feel like they can roll it out preview uh, next to that menu item or that functionality or the feature will disappear. Compliance, these are all uh, new functionalities. I'm very impressed the way Microsoft is bringing everything together in this uh, Power Platform Admin Center, the security, especially threat detection, access control, network security, compliance. Let's go back to analytics. In the analytics section, Dataverse is our database for the Power Platforms. You can see, how many active users are there? There are different tabs. Mode of access, how they are accessing. Entity usage, how many entities and how they are being used. Sample jobs, we can have, you know, uh, I work in organizations, there are a lot of bad jobs that run, so we can have all the list of jobs. And are there any plugins? And the API called statistics and mailbox usage if that is configured. Here you can see analytics for Power Automate also. And for Power Apps, you can see that information. And data export, if you want to export the data to the new environment like data lakes, you can see, you can do that with a single click from this admin center. Now let's go to the billing. Here you can see the number of licenses, how many licenses are there, it looks like, uh, Total assigned licenses are 14, purchased license 50,000, and these are the available for Power Automate, how many licenses are available. So 
you can literally manage the licenses, the capacity of uh, your power pages. Uh, uh, you can see a lot of analytics being you know put together. These are all new functionalities that are really useful for the administrators to gauge how much money is being spent for the power pages for data words. In the data versus in our database, we are using you know 4.7 MB out of 20 gig. Here you can manage the capacity. If you want to add the capacity, you can uh, add the capacity also based on the building details. You know how the uh, building information, building plans, and other things are also out, uh, you know listed out here. Copilot Studio. This is very important and interesting. So. This copilot studio contains the information about how many copilots are there and you can manage it. Now this see this one. This is a finance and operations. So what Microsoft is trying to do is you can manage this finance and operation. I am expecting in the future if you have any related uh, Dynamics 365, you can do that also. So when I hit the finance and op operations, I did see this kind of behavior. Uh, because the screen is literally frozen so generally in this scenario i will just refresh it and make sure we are in the uh, you know we get the latest information or create another tab go to our platform admin.powerplatform.com and you can uh, take out the previous one uh, previous tab and come back here to the building section this is how i work around looks like there is a known issue microsoft is actively working on it so here in the billing plans, you can see different billing plans. The setting side here, you can see may what are the managed environments. What are uh, you can sort this? What I did was uh, you know by clicking it. Now we can sort this information. What are the different managed environments and what are unmanaged environments? You can see that information. This is also as you know this copilot is a copilot studio is a new feature. This uh, provides us. Uh, more analytics how this copilot is being used and the resource section side you can see the capacity uh, not only to the database you can see the microsoft teams how much capacity is being used and uh, what are the different add-ons here you can see the environment right for each environment how much it's being consumed so there is a lot of information that uh, our platform administrators can do right now you know, you know with this resources section the catalogs basically this catalog is nothing but uh, for data governance we can use this catalog this is also one of the good features microsoft is actively working on this catalog and the dynamics 365 apps to manage four apps so there are these are the available apps that we can manage and administer here and what are the different sites if you have different sites in this environment, I have different sites that are available for me. So you can manage this sites administration uh, also from this or platform admin center. Help and support is very useful. You can create tickets if you, you know, here you can create a support ticket and work with the folks. And uh, data integration wise, this is also one of the good features. Here you can integrate the data. Uh, you can see it's a little bit slow, but you can create a project. Uh, and if you want to import export data, you can uh, create that information using this. You know, you can create it, and there are connectors that you can choose. Data import and export, or data integration is easy if you leverage this feature. And data, this is a new preview. Is nothing but a new beta feature, beta feature, right? That Microsoft is working on. So you can use this better future. Microsoft is going to enhance this uh, screen in the administration section. And the policies wise, data policies, tenant isolation. I suggest highly to isolate the tenant so that it becomes easy for you to do auditing in case of any PCI compliance or regulatory compliance, HIPAA compliance uh, applications. Customer uh, logbox is a policy that you can set the policy at this level and enterprise policies also you can set. Now, given we are almost there, uh, you know, with the traditional uh, classic Power Platform Administration Center, from here you can go to different uh, Microsoft 365 admin or intro admin is nothing but security admin. 
and Power BI. You can go to all these different uh, administration pages with one click. You know, you know, I will just quickly show you for uh, Power BI. I clicked on it, and here you can go and manage the Power BI administration. Now, Microsoft rebranded everything as a Microsoft Fabric, especially the data layer. It contains Power BI. Uh, you know, there are a bunch of other things also. All those things you can navigate from your Power Platform Admin Center. You, you can go to Microsoft uh, M365 Admin also means adding the users and all those things. You can do that. Now let's come back to this uh, Power Platform Admin Center. Now let's go to the uh, try the new Admin Center feature. This is the very interesting page. Right? Let's start as uh, usual with the home. Here you can see the UI is completely changed and we have the similar information and uh, the action section here the recommendations like advisor the similar functionality if you want to see this in the classic or the old version you can just flip it it you uh, this takes you to the old version if you flip this one it goes to the new version of the admin center here in the main section they regrouped it here you can see the environments environment group you can do the tenant setting the uh, tenant level settings and data preview all these things at any time if you want to go back and if you you know the existing power platform administrators they are comfortable with the old uh, classic uh, user interface they can flip back and if there is an available uh, feature it takes back Otherwise, when you do this, it comes back to the new monitor section. So uh, in the security wise also, you can see here securing the power pages that you can do. Licensing is a very important and interesting thing that they added all these features like I mentioned, you know, here we are in the licensing, right? When we go directly it takes you to the licensing section. So this new UI, enables us to do a lot of uh, copilot related things and uh, the ui itself is more uh, apparent and more helpful for the administrators to go through they categorize based on a lot of feedback from the users uh, like you and me and from uh, microsoft mvps and other folks here the same thing you know you can go and go to the different admin sections of them Power BI, which is nothing but the Microsoft uh, Fabric Power BI, you know, it goes to the same uh, links. All these uh, features, I like the new Power Platform Admin Center, given it provides us with a lot of, uh, you know, groups or actions, manage clearly, say that, hey, I want to manage my Power Platform resources. Monitor means it's clear. I want to monitor the logs or i want to see what is happening with my products and product lines so all this information is very nicely categorized with the new ui but for the people who are really comfortable with the world they can uh, leverage this uh, you know talk uh, toggle they can uh, move around thanks for tuning in looking forward to see you in my next video bye for now